what's up my beautiful kingdom family welcome back to the keys to the kingdom where we drop all the keys to the kingdom dr g is in the building if you are new to the royal family come on and hit that subscribe button because we're kings and queens actively living out our purposes for the positive vibes changing lives and loving on the lord right this is the place to be you do not want to miss the messages that come through on my channel shout out to my faithful family yeah always in the building holding it down in the comments i love y'all so very much and i'm blessed to share this journey with you all listen baby okay like comment and subscribe like comment and subscribe join us because this is the place to be we're giving you the keys to your freedom all right and so i'm going to let you all hear a brief voice recording that i created and it's based on a question that i get all the time like how do you keep up with everything that the Lord has you doing that the Lord has your hands on? Okay. And so, um, here we go. It's that saying, have you ever heard of that saying, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> it's literally like that minus the stupid because none of y'all are stupid in my eyes, but literally like, I want to keep things simple in a world where everybody is doing everything they're doing the most. Everything is moving so fast. I want to keep things simple and slow. I want to take my time with everything that the Lord has me doing. Anything that the Lord has me putting my hands on in this season, I literally want to bask in it. I want to embrace it. I want to welcome in the process and the journey that it is in its fullness and not feel like I'm looking at the rest of the world and thinking I'm not doing enough or that I have to rush outside of this phase. No. I want to be comfortable and confident, which I am, that I'm where I'm supposed to be in this very moment, doing exactly what the Lord has called me to do to the extent that he has called me to do it, and I'm among the people that he desires me to do it with. That's it. We're keeping it simple. Stupid. <laughs> I love y'all, Kingdom family. Dr. G is out. Go visit the queen at infinitelyhealed.com for any counseling and healing services that I offer. The queen will meet you over there. Shop Empowered by Love, our faith-based apparel where we wear our faith and we make Jesus' name famous all over the world, okay? All right, my love. So there you have it. Listen, baby. Um... <sighs> I want this to be an encouraging message to some of you because there are a lot of moving pieces that the Lord will have his kingdom children doing, right? Like, for instance, you already know, I tell some of you um, who are new to the family that you don't know, rather, but my kingdom family know I'm a counselor, I'm a doctor, okay, I'm a business owner, I'm at Infinitely Healed, as you heard, and I also keep up with myself. I like to keep up with my own private relationship with God. And so um, that requires a lot of investment and my peace and my health, just making sure I'm staying on top of myself so that I can be a, a pouring vessel to you all. And it's not easy, right? It's a lot of moving pieces that is not easy to keep up with. But some of the things that God was giving me insight on and wisdom in is that he wants us to give our best to each day. Okay, and so give your best to the day that is presented before you. Those 24 hours that you have before you, how can you maximize the, the time in that day? How can you give it your all, right? How can you really soar during those 24 hours? Like some people like to be 12 steps ahead of themselves, six months, a year ahead in the future. And now it's okay to look ahead once in a while. Um, like what is my five-year plan? What is my 10-year plan? And then you document that, you prepare, and then you release it to the Lord, okay? And then you come back to that present moment where he can get you situated so that you can literally flourish and bear the fruit that you're supposed to bear in that present day, in that present season, right? Because you're focused on what's in front of you and you're not looking at what's too far ahead of you okay so once in a while look ahead but then for the most time for the most part you're back right to what's before you be where your feet are be where your feet are take that write that in the comments for me my loves another thing contrary to what we're seeing in the rest of this world okay because i know some people struggle with comparison acts me i don't compare myself to nobody else because what god has placed inside of me is literally for me only i can do it this way and it's going to be a beautiful demonstration to the world because it's unique to me right who he's called me to be and so less is more 
less is more type that in the comments for me less is more less is more in a sense that the world is doing so much the world is going so fast everybody else is looking extra and everybody else is and i mind you i used to be very extra okay so don't i'm not coming for nobody <laughs> at all trust and believe like listen baby um god humbled me by my circumstances because otherwise i would be extra and doing the most right but he has to really minister to my spirit and pull me away from the rest of the world and let me know that's not for you that's not true that's not um that's not how you have to go about doing what I've called you to do, okay? You're going to keep it low. You're going to be lowly. You're going to be humble. It's going to be a lot of humility with you. It's going to be um, a posture of literally like you handling my kingdom business. You keep me your eyes on your father's business, and then that's it. So he wants us to remember that less is more. Less is more contrary to what we see. Less is really more, okay? And you don't go. He had me listen to somebody, and they said, it blew my mind. It was like, you don't go further by going faster. You go further by going slower. I need y'all to catch that, okay? Because it's a, it's a wind on that. It's a wind on that. You do not go further by going faster. You go further by going slower. That part. And so it's literally by making those intentional daily steps. Intentional daily steps to how we reach to our greater destination the overall picture, the full picture, the bigness, right? That God has for us, okay? And so remember that and let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple, family. Let's keep it simple. I love y'all. That's all me and the Lord has for you today. Be blessed. Do not forget to be a blessing. Y'all already know, go visit the queen. Okay, we already did my ending in the middle of this video. So Dr. G is out. See y'all soon. Keep it simple. Stop it. <laughs>